Hey guys, this is Hang Wang Go. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have the amazing and beautiful Jocelyn Boudoir. I can't say her last name because I really bad with saying French word. And this is the look we came up with, a beautiful polished terracotta makeup look. I hope you enjoy the look and give us a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to follow both of us on Instagram as well. Thank you for watching. To start every makeup, I always give skin a lot of love. When you have mature skin, you should give your skin a lot more love. And I think at that age, you actually appreciate it more compared to when you were 15 years old. Am I right? <laughs> yes. So always a little lip balm. I like to put the lip balm before makeup because I put the lip balm sit there, work on the lips, instead apply before the lipstick. This way, it will help to smooth out the lip for later. I'm using also a little eye cream. some serum this is the water serum so you can just really press into the skin and it is a night serum but you still can use it for daytime as well Moisturizer. I always put a lot on, and then you can always blot the extra off if you think it's too much or too shiny. But it's good to have the skin really, really hydrated. I also use a sponge to apply my foundation. I did too much moisturizer and I can use the sponge to take off some of the excess moisture as well. Jocelyn has amazing skin and I hope you all can take care of your skin to look like this. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of foundation from Dior. This is the backstage face and body foundation and a little concealer from Sisley. I'm only gonna use a tiny bit and what I do I put mainly in the T-zone, just like that, and I bump it out. This foundation is very, very, very sheer, so it's great for someone who doesn't love to wear too heavy makeup. This even the skin without than heavy on the skin at all and just blend everything together even I use a tiny bit but you still need to blend for concealer I use just a little bit under the eye around the nose a little bit here as well I'm using the same sponge I use for my foundation to blend out the concealer okay. I'm also gonna apply a little bit around the corner here and just blend out and I'm going to put a little powder on the T-zone and under the eye I know a lot of people shy away from powder 
because they think that powder can do all the line and stuff like that. But the technology nowadays is really good, so you don't have to worry so much. A lot of product, the pigment is so fine nowadays that you don't even see nothing. For eyebrow, I'm gonna fill in Jocelyn eyebrow a little bit, just mostly a bit right here. And I'm gonna extend it a little longer. I'm doing the same on this side. For the eye, I'm gonna use a little bit of eye primer first. For eyes, I'm gonna use the two shadow for MAC and this shadow liner stick for Makeup Forever. Close the eye. To start, I line the upper lash line, a thick line like this. Use the blending brush and blend it out. Remember, this is a long wear formula, so you have to blend really quick, trying to do one eye at a time. I also gonna put a little bit on the upper waterline as well. I also gonna put a little bit on the inner corner here and blend it out. The reason I'm doing this so the eye doesn't look too round. It still keep that elongated, but the other way around. Next, I'm using the shadow brush. Close the eye and keep jostling some shadow here. But I mainly apply from the outer part of the eye and not too much from the inner part. and try to blend it outward and upward. Next, I'm using this color here, close the eye, and just blend it the other color. I'm also put a little bit on the lower lash line as well. And also make sure to blend the second color outward and upward. This way it will give the eye a little lift. So with no added color, Use the same brush and just blend out whatever left in the brush to the brow bone. You don't need to add more color at all. And this way, you just blend everything seamlessly together. I'm curing Jocelyn lashes a little bit. And applying two coat of brown mascara in Sicily. I decided to use brown color for this because I thought it looked a lot softer. Even we do an eye pretty strong, but everything looked blending well together.
and I'm gonna add a little on our lower lashes as well. I decide to add a little bit of the eyeliner eyeshadow stick on the waterline as well. The color is so nice and warm, so it doesn't look harsh at all even you do on the waterline. It's actually make her eye color even more pop. I was planning to do really natural, natural makeup on Jocelyn, but I mean her eye can take makeup so well as you can see. So I keep adding on and this is what we come out with the eye makeup. I thought she looked amazing. Next, I'm gonna use a little bit of fresh glow from Burberry. Just to keep a little highlight around the cheek, a little bit on the tip of the nose, a little more radiance all over. You use your finger, just blend it out. This very, very sheer highlighter, you can mix in foundation, under foundation. I mean, you can do many different ways. For cheek, I'm gonna use this cream highlight stick from Tom Ford. Just a few dots. And you just blend it out. You can use the brush to apply your blush or your fingers. It's all personal preference. I like to use the fingers. I'm also gonna put a little on the tip of the nose just for the youthful flush. For the lips, I'm going to use the lip liner number two from Victoria Beckham and this lipstick shade from Louboutin Beauty. Smile for I'm trying to fill the whole lips with this lip liner before I apply the lipstick. You can always use your lip liner to touch up all the edges after. To complete the look, I'm gonna spray a little bit of the Luminous Dewy Mist from Tatcha. So that's the look, guy. I hope you enjoyed the look. Maybe it's a little too much for a lot of people, or too heavy. You can wear a lighter shade of lipstick, or you don't have to use the eyeliner on the waterline. Give your own judgment and play with it. I think makeup should be fun, and just use the color that you feel good about. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.